Hi there, and welcome to a new League of Legends top lane commentary of mine. So, this is another video of the tutorial series of mine, and this one will be about Ilawi. You will find the runes I use in the link in the description below, and I'm gonna give it a little explaining here beforehand. Um, I'm running Fleet Footwork, not Aerie, because Aerie is a good mastery on uh, Teemo. I use it a lot more than I did uh, when I started to play the preseason, but Fleet Footwork is also a very viable keystone mastery for a team. And against Ilawi, I want to be mobile and I want to have the sustain of that. These are two factors uh, I value about this keystone because Ilawi, well, let's put it like that. I, on a scale of 1 to 10 in difficulty rating, I give Ilawi a 6 to 7 because she is quite beefy. Every single hit from her hurts like hell, and when she goes into ulti, you're pretty much not able to withstand that as Teemo. That's, that summarizes it pretty well. And if you go for a normal straight up AP build, uh, chances are you're gonna have a seriously hard time with her. Because every tentacle slap she lands into you will heal her, and Teemo has no natural sustain abilities on his kit. So, you will get beaten down by super hard hits while Ilawi keeps sustaining on you, and you will be forced to leave lane very prematurely, and the enemy jungle starts at blue. Ilawi is very late to the party. Yeah, she leashed for him. So, level 1, you can bully her around a little. Most Ilawi start with her Q, and if you're able to dodge that uh, tentacle slap, you're pretty much in a good spot. But because I know that Udir is, uh, has started at his blue buff, I'm very, very cautious here, because I know Udir clears his side of the jungle very healthy, and he might just be running towards me for a level 2 gank. So I'm taking this very carefully. So here... Fleet Footwork saved me from that slap, and also the boot start. I didn't mention that before, I forgot to, but um, I love to play boots into gems which have dodgeable skill shot abilities, because I feel like this helps you a lot to avoid situations like these. So for the build, I'm gonna run definitely Leandris, but apart from that, I'm gonna specialize heavy into hybridization here. Because if I don't go for any sustainable options into this matchup, I can't withstand her. There's no chance that I can't survive this matchup. And she's level three now, so she got his, her, she, so she got her uh, draw the soul out thingy going online. And because of that, I'm hiding as much behind my minions as I can. Because Ilawit can pretty much kill me one v one right now that and didn't even miss a creep out of that that's good removing these tentacles around the area you want to fight is super important because they are uh well Ilawi's bread and butter to say so so as long as you dodge her uh soul sucking thingy it's her e uh you pretty much not have too much problems against her oh uh, i can't fight into this huge creep wave Man, they're all attacking me. So maybe we can at least trade flashes. So I'm really sorry for Jax that I couldn't follow his attack, but this huge creep wave, they deal so much damage in the early game, you gotta respect that. But on the on the good side, we traded flash, that means she can't flash on me, that's good. Uh, on the bad side, we didn't kill her, but at least nobody died. I would have taken a kill on Ilawi, for sure, but... All right. There's 
I don't want to overstay into this lane. Because I'm very, very vulnerable to Udir. So I feel like I want to start out with an Empiric Scepter. I know I don't need more of those. Uh, I guess she didn't TP, and she tries to freeze the lane so I can walk back. She can't freeze the lane to a huge glob like that. Oh, or she'll just face tank it. That's actually pretty smart. Oh, Alright, but he's clearing out the wave, so I don't need to TP in that. I could offensively TP into that, but... Uh, I'm spooked of the Udir. He has two kills already. And he can run me down like... like nothing here. I don't think this ward will survive the long good. I wanna have it. Sidestep that. Sidestep that. And now I can fight a little. These are my only windows uh, where I can attack Ilawi safely. When her E's down, and preferably while her Q's also down. And let's run out of that. The damage reflection of that is truly really dangerous, but... I have plenty of health pots on me. And that's why I went for Vampiric Scepter. Because sooner or later you will get slapped by these. Uh, you, you can't avoid everything. Or you shouldn't uh, expect that from yourself, that is. So I'm falling behind in CS, but I can't change that because I want to stay alive. It's way more important right now. Good men die. I choose to live. But I gotta admit, I fuck up a lot of CS by myself right now. As much as I'd like to kill this tentacle, I feel like she will react on that. Alright, Q is down, but not her E. Very good. So I got my third shroom right now. Now would be a good time for Jax to show up. Alright, she's killing the ward. Well, if that's giving me some precious me time with this lane, that's also good. So we allow recovered from the poke. But this dude is running kleptomancy and so far he didn't get much out of that. Alright. I'm not forcing anything into Ilawi. I wouldn't recommend it. It's pretty hard to beat her. Best thing you can do is to not allow her to snowball on you. So I took a few missteps here, sadly. Well, once you're into this, stuff gets really bad. But I'm just gonna wait until it expires and then I'm gonna TP back into the lane. Or, no, actually not. I don't really want to go home before I have the money for my, uh... Leon, uh for my haunting guys up. There we go. But so far, the whole deal is paying off. I mean, I'm not dying. I'm not achieving anything here, but seriously, not dying into Ilawi as Teemo is all, also a very good thing to achieve, because Ilawi uh, can snowball super heavy into your team. And the game can get to a point where uh, 
is that we can two we uh, yeah one we three or something like that. No biggie, she can do that. So the haunting guys will be my only investment into uh, the the Andres for now. But I really love to have some AP and the uh, um magic penetration going on and the extra HP also helped me a lot into this matchup and I feel like this is far more valuable than uh, taking some uh, further items into the Hextech Gunblade or the Blade of the Ruined King. And this stuff really starts to get annoying when you're playing against the Lowy. I waited before I engaged into that until she ulted, because she'll get more tentacles the more uh, people she hits with her ult. And one of the worst things that can happen to you is that she hits all people co uh, committing into a fight at once with this thingy, then, it, then, then this shit hurts too much. And Jax had a super timing into that. And he's even giving me the Herald, that's awesome. Because this fucks up Ilawi's uh, lane now hard. I'm not gonna pursue further into this. I feel like I should help somewhere else now and just defend this lane for now. And I'm gonna run uh, Blade of the Ruined King into this. But I'll also pick up the Tabai. So let's run back to lane. This item constellation looks a bit weird, but trust me, it's good. I mean, sure, you delay your. Uh, first complete item with that somewhat, but the uh, the Bilgewater and the Haunting guys are highly synergistic items on Tina. So... I'm just hovering around here. As Timo never ever engage a fight. React into fights. Drop down shrooms. Wait until they fight into your shrooms. Wait until something like that happens. There we got him. Alright, he's done. Can we get her too? Oh, well, we can get the Oriana though. I'm okay with that. much as I want to. Alright, so I took two assists for nothing. And Draven wants to take top lane, alright. I'm gonna go bot lane. Or nah, we can't push that man. Not into not into that zillion shit. Let's help with that Drake a little. And I'm gonna farm bot some. Holy shit, 120. She she farmed that much. Well, I think I gotta accept that I can't beat uh, Ilawi's CS. So they're sieging mid while Draven and me are pushing the side lanes.
but I feel like it's safe to go for more. I don't see them having much dive potential here. They're actually killing people, so I can take this wave. But then I gotta, well, then I gotta leave. Or do I? Actually, they're giving this turret for free. Crazy. I don't think I'm able to finish it. No, oh, there's a Lowy. I expected as much. <clears throat> this control ward is in a bit of a uh, curious position, but. Um, it's really good because you can make sure they're not getting spotted there. So I'm gonna continue this push for uh, the dragon again. We're that far ahead that I don't need to participate in the team fighting much. This Draven is a machine. Got the Justana? That's good. We can't fight her like that while she's in that thingy. Okay, I feel like her ult might have expired by now. That's healing of hers is, is just insane. Ah, oh, got her. Holy shit. I really thought I would die there. some presents here. I feel like you should never leave the enemy side of the jungle as Teemo without dropping down some shrooms somewhere. You always gotta leave some little presents for your enemies. So in this build, the Blade of the Rune King kinda uh, replaces the um, Nash's Tooth I usually build. Because it offers sustain and crowd control. Alright, so. I feel like we can just join our team into the mid lane and finish this game. We're that far ahead. We're totally stomping them, dudes. They're so behind right now. Oh, there are some salty Udira over there. Yeah, it's the... It's the big-ass Draven Storm here. We're witnessing her. Alright. Udira to go. I mean, 
This makes my KDA look better, right? I think we can safely finish this game. I feel like this is one very, very good uh, example for a laning tutorial into Ilaoi. Into um, I feel like without a gank, don't try to win too hard 1v1 against her. I mean, if, the, if your enemy does a lot of uh, mistakes here, or just invites you to kill him, sure, go for it. No deal. But if you're feeling like your enemy is the least little bit uh, experienced with Illaoi really take this lane seriously and play it carefully because she can pretty much stomp your face if you're if you let her and once Illaoi gets snowballing your whole game might break out of control so this guy was plat 5 not too shabby not the best but also not too shabby so this was actually a ranked game and Draven out damaged us all so hard, but he, he snowballed super early, so no wonder. That that's that's some Draven action. That's what happens if you let Draven snowball. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you I gave you guys some ideas how to better deal with Lawi against uh when you're playing Timo. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye bye.